The Minister of Health, Dr. Sagi Hanire, on Tuesday said the federal government was disturbed that COVID-19 deaths came from many educated, well-to-do Nigerians who chose home-based care and were only rushed to hospitals after sudden complications. The minister, who stated this during the daily briefing by the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 in Abuja, advised to everyone who tested positive for COVID-19 to seek medical attention and not use drugs without a doctor's prescription. Ehani Ray said five centers in the country were researching into possible COVID-19 drugs. He said chloroquine was one of such drugs. Joining us live is Dr. Victor Ekbe, public health expert. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Uh, good morning, Felicita. What's your take on this? Yeah, um, if we look at the practice um, in other parts of the world, uh, many people tend to um, uh, stay home for their, uh, to manage their infections because of um, about 80% of cases, um, like um, experts have reported, um, are usually mild cases. Uh, so uh, it's more, more convenient to have people uh, wanting to stay back home to take care of themselves uh, than going into an isolation. But uh, we need to look at what is obtainable in our own country. Is that practical? Is it something that can work in our country? But generally, I will agree uh, with the fact that uh, whoever tests positive should seek um, experts' opinion instead of doing practicing self-medication. Uh, there are jingles. Isn't it a bit conflicting, really? There are jingles that say, if you feel sick, stay home and contact the hospital, I mean, uh, the disease control center, and only leave your home if they direct you to do so. So um, sometimes the symptoms that we've been told is you become feverish, you have cold, um, you have catarrh and other um, symptoms that are similar to malaria. So isn't the diagnosis a bit dubious, so to say, to blame people entirely for not choosing to seek care? Well, uh, yeah, there are actually two sides of it. Um, one is the fact that the symptoms look so much like malaria and um, uh, we over there in Africa and Nigeria, as, as you know, we are used to having malaria and then coming out of it without any medical intervention and all of that. Um, it's not so far off from what is obtainable with COVID-19. Again, 80% of cases will have mild symptoms, fever, cough, uh, maybe some body aches and all of that. And they can actually recover pretty well um, without having to use any medical facility. So um, the CDC position or whatever jingle has been put forward um, to make people stay home uh, and then call the CDC, um, I think is, is, is in order. Um, number one is also to protect the health staff uh, because somebody can just come into the hospital and present like malaria uh, without giving the health of maybe pre-informing the hospital that this is the condition I'm having and by that expose a lot of other um, health personnel to the infection. So it's good that um, if you're sick, you stay home and then give a call to the authorities that um, are involved in investigating the, the infection. And it's only in very severe cases that um, people should try to go to the hospital uh, when it comes to that point, when the symptoms can no longer be, uh, be tolerated at home. Uh, beyond asking people to take personal responsibility for containing the spread of COVID-19 and aside all the other measures that have been highlighted to follow, what more do you think the government can do in our peculiar circumstances, knowing, of course, that we have issues with following simple social distancing order. And sometimes it's not that we do not want to follow this order, but it's simply impossible to effectively do so. Well, um, so far we are practicing what is obtainable in other parts of the world. And um, if we have to win this battle, uh, then people will have to um, take that responsibility to follow um, the instructions that experts have given. Um, social distancing all over the world has been found to help, you know, curtail the spread of the infection. Uh, currently, like in the United States, a lot of um, uh, parks have been opened. And what you see around those parks, um, around those beaches, is that they have provided circles, you know, areas that people will have to be and measure them equidistant from each other so that nobody is clustering around each other. So all over the world, that is what is obtainable. And I think our people will need to get 
um, that fact that if we have to be able to get through this uh, pandemic or epidemic in our country, then we need to follow the laid down principles by the um, NCDC or by the government. Let's talk about the numbers now. It, it, yesterday, over 200 uh, people were confirmed to be positive in Lagos State alone, of course, undoubtedly uh, the epicenter of the coronavirus in Nigeria. Uh, do you think maybe a time is coming when the Lagos State government will be overwhelmed with the increasing number of cases that we have? Yeah, I, I read up the, the statistic by NCDC um, yesterday and again um, is, is quite concerning uh, when you discover that the numbers are still on the increase, especially in Lagos. Um, it looks as if all that has been put in place are really not working. Uh, that might not be true, probably because um, the infection had already started uh, going deep into the population before we ever started any form of intervention. But uh, I think we just have to keep at what we are doing. Uh, it will come to a place where citizens will have to take greater responsibility, especially the use of uh, face masks, you know, that every my, state my, government my, is now trying to implement, um, trying to keep safe distances and all of that. Uh, when you say maintaining what we are doing, are you saying that the current lockdown as obtained now is something that we should continue to do, um, especially knowing that businesses are not completely opened, palliatives are not properly distributed, and there are people who are concerned um, about how they are going to sustain their livelihood and leave, actually, uh, without being killed by hunger? Yeah, right from the beginning, I personally have never been um, I, I've gone with the opinion of having a total lockdown in Nigeria. Um, this is what is clearly obtainable in Western world. And you know they have the social infrastructure and what it takes to have a total lockdown for a number of months without you know anybody blinking an eye. But in Nigeria, um, we are faced with two extremes. It's either the COVID-19 infection or poverty. And we have to make a choice. What we really, you know, we, we have to go for. Whichever way you look at it, people will still die. Is it by poverty or by hunger or they will die by COVID-19? So I feel the step the nation is taking by easing a little bit um, and allowing people to make some minimal form of activities and, and movement, you know, in order to fend for themselves. I think it's a good a step in the right direction. Well, before I let you go, I must ask the obvious question. In spite of the restriction of movement, interstate travel, we know, for instance, that uh, the case we have now in Yenagua, as announced by um, the governor, um, the person who tested positive traveled to Delta, even though we don't know if that was before the lockdown was instituted. But that lockdown has been over 14 days already. Um, even with the lockdown, we are having cases. Should we just discard it? Well, um, I mean, even if there is community transmission, um, minimizing movement across the border has been found as one of the ways to really curtail the spread of the infection. So we, if we can't totally say at this point that we should discard the lockdown, uh, but we need to go through it uh, in steps. Like what the United States is doing, uh, they have what they call the gated criteria. This is the point um, you need to get to before you start opening up. Um, I was trying to look up if we have something like that in Nigeria. What are the criteria we are using to um, uh, to ease the lockdown a little bit? But it looks like we've not really come up with any policy, or probably maybe I have not seen uh, one by myself. But um, it's something we need to go in stepwise because that is how you open the borders, and then you you are going to invite a lot of infection into the community, and that will even you know. Um, uh, 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 kind of, you know, spoil whatever we have achieved so far. So I feel the nation has to go into it um, in steps, you know, taking measured steps until we are able to um, tell ourselves that, yes, the country can be fully open for any economic activity. All right. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts and giving some insights to the latest developments on COVID-19. Thank you. Stay safe.